guys, so today I'm going to be doing a relatively large drugstore haul. I don't know how people walk in, they're like, okay, toothpaste, I need toothpaste, and they don't even cruise by the new Maybelline selection. I am suddenly looking for mouthwash, and I find myself looking at eyeshadows, and I'm like, this is not where I should be. What are this? Because of that, it means I have a haul for all of you guys, and this is by all no means in one trip. It is a very collective over the last couple of weeks. I feel like there's been some amazing drugstore launches and some really nice stuff that comes out, and it's just so cheap, and I just... Mm. So, let's hop on into it. So let's first start off with, oh, oh, there we go, Walgreens. So I got three different kinds of hair chalk. I am just kind of starting to decide I wanna try it because it's mermaid hair and alas, I was born under the sea. So I got one in Silver Moon, one in Mint Candy, and the last one in Dusty Rose. It's just gonna fulfill the fact that I'm never gonna be able to have the balls to dye my hair hot pink. We can just pretend and then wash it out. So the next thing I picked up, you guys actually helped me pick out on Twitter, and it is the Olay Fresh Effects BB Cream. And I got this one in the shade Light to Medium. You guys said you really like this, so hopefully I will too. I have yet to venture out into the CC cream. I'm kind of just waiting for the DD cream. <laughs> Not a funny joke? Okay, I thought it was. Hopefully this will actually have coverage because that's my one thing with BB creams. I don't like BB creams. They're like, oh, it blurs your imperfections. Nah, hide that. Hide it like a mask. And the next thing I got is the Maybelline Asia Rind Dark Circle Under Eye Erase. And I don't know about you guys, but summer just feeds into my lack there of sleep. Like the internet just seems to be popping as soon as school is out and I'm just like tumbling at like 4 a.m. and suddenly I have gotten two hours of sleep. So my dark circles have been like vampire crazy status right now. So I thought I'd try this and everybody talks about this and everybody really seems to like it. So hopefully this will cover my uh, my baggage. I just have a lot of baggage. And the last thing I got from Walgreens is the Jordana Fabu Brow Eyebrow Pencil. And a lot of you guys have been oh so kindly reminding me that I feel my eyebrows are relatively dark for my new highlighted blonde hair. So I got this. It's in taupe. Right? It's in taupe. Because I kind of go for that uh, Cara Delevingne look just because I want to be here and pretend that I'm the epitome of Tumblr, but it's not working. I get it. We're good. We're moving on. And everything I got from CVS, which is in fact my drug of choice. The first thing I picked out is probably a little awkward for most people, but <laughs> I have no filter and nothing is awkward for me, which is a blessing and a curse. I got the Out Relief Wax Strip Kit by Sally Hansen. And you're like, Megan waxing? Why are we talking about it? Girls, get your head out of the gutter. I'm talking about waxing my legs. <laughs> We're not talking about waxing anything else that. So for my Included. Anytime I thought of home waxing, I thought of that keeping up with the Kardashians episode or maybe it was like Chloe and Courtney take Miami or they take some other city or they take something and a title of a... I don't even know what E comes up with these titles. They were waxing one of them's hoo-ha and it was just a bad, bad, bad experience. That's what I think of when I think of home waxing strings. But then I saw this and this is like these little strips that you use and you like put them on and then you rip them off and it's supposed to be out relief. I am so unbelievably lazy when it comes to shaping my legs during the summertime. In the winter, I'll just like throw pants on. I'm like, nobody knows that I'm like growing like a furry beast on my legs right now. But in the summertime, you're like wearing shorts and skirts and you don't wanna like brush up against some stranger and they're being like cave woman. You're like, yeah, those would be my legs. Nobody loves shaping their legs. That is no one's favorite part of the shower routine. And then it just grows back. So I thought I would try this because a lot of my friends are really into waxing. Waxing down there, waxing their legs, waxing their armpits, waxing their up a lip, not calling out that any of my friends have a mustache, or waxing their eyebrows. So I've only tried waxing my eyebrows before, and I was like, hey, if I can handle that, I feel I can handle waxing my legs, because it's supposed to last up to eight freaking weeks. <gasps> eight weeks! Quit talking about that! Imagine not having to shave your legs for eight weeks. That sounds freaking amazing to me. So, I actually have already tried this out. Uh, and I tried it out on my arm because I had already shaved my legs before I bought it. And it actually really, really worked. And I took the hair off on my arm, and I'm not someone who shaves their arms. And it's just like maybe a week ago, and it's still like hairless right here. It also did take off a perfect square of a uh, self-tanner. But basically what these are, these strips that you heat up between your hands, and it melts the wax, you peel it apart, stick it on, rip it off, hardly hurts, and it takes off your hair and it lasts significantly longer than shaving your legs. Plus, I feel like badass is wax. And don't you be like, oh, yeah, I don't shave, I wax. Because I'm hard as beep. 
I think I want to do a video demonstrating this so maybe you guys who are a little on the fence and a little more wary about it will actually see that it doesn't hurt and it's really cool and it's really easy to use so yay and Sally Hansen's doing this like huge magungus like win dollar dollar bills y'all money giveaway so go onto their Facebook page I'll have that link down below and you guys can enter and I'm really lucky person like I just have a lot of luck in this world so I feel like by telling you guys about this contest and telling you guys to enter I've like sprinkled my lucky charms all over you all not like the cereal like the luck that I have I'm it's the power of my luck to you. So hopefully one of you guys will win, so go check the number and enter. Right, let's keep going. I picked up two of the new Wet n Wild eyeshadow palettes, and these have been highly sought after. Naturally, when I saw them, I like sprinted across the CVS, and everyone's like, what's going on? And I was like, duh! I picked up one in Going Into the, Going in the Wild, and this other one in Nude Awakening. Going in the Wild, I think, is just like a perfect summery palette. It's got ones you could use every day, and then like two little pops of color. And then Nude Awakening is basically like the drugstore version of uh, the Urban Decay Naked palette. So for the price of these, these eyeshadows are actually relatively good quality. So I would definitely recommend checking them out and scoundering around your CVS to see if they have these palettes because these are fun and they have cute packaging. The next eyeshadow palette I got is Caffeine Rush. And did I need this? No. But why did I buy it? Dun dun, dun 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 dun, 50% off. I don't know what it is about me and sales, but I basically feel like it, shopping gods are coming down and being like, you must buy me. It's saying to me in CVS. It was romantic. It serenaded me, so I bought it. It's a thing. I really like this, and it's sparkly. Sprackly. And the sticker on it just makes you look like a bargain hunter. Yeah. So I picked up an eyeliner. This is the Scandalize Waterproof Rimmel London Eyeliner in number four, which is taupe. I have loved these eyeliners forever. They're some of my absolute favorite drugstore liners. They're so creamy. They remind me of the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On pencils. But this one is like the coolest color ever. It's like a matte or just like a solid cream kind of grayish taupey color. It's very like light and it doesn't close off your eyes and it really keeps them looking like big bright and awake and it's like the perfect no makeup makeup like the no eyeliner eyeliner contradictory but you get what I mean and I love it so I picked up a couple things from NYC so the first thing I got is the sparkle dust NYC and this is in smuck it topaz and it's one of those eyeshadows that comes like a lip gloss with a doe foot applicator and as I'm already pulling it out there's fallout I haven't tried this on my eyes yet but the color was just so freaking cool and sparkly in the tube and now that I've swatched it I love the color I don't know how much I'm going to like the actual application of this but I'm sure I can find a way to make it work just because the color is so pretty then I got two uh Appalicious glossy lip balms I got one in pink lady and one in caramel apple and I'm going to say it and I've said it before don't shank me I don't like baby lips but I love the whole concept of a tinted lip balm that's actually moisturizing. So this, I'm hoping, will actually conquer that. It reminds me of like apple bottom jeans, and boots with the fur, with the fur, the hunk. Okay, I'm gonna stop saying. The caramel apple one is just a brown. It's like a brown, and then and then pink lady is just a really nice medium to pink color with the lip balm in the middle so hopefully these will actually be moisturizing because that would make my day so people can stop on hating me for hating on the baby lips and the last thing that I got from NYC is the smooch proof which is very sad and depressing because I'm not kissing anybody lip stain 16 hour NYC I don't know why I said that last and this is on orange on the go and this is just like a felt tip marker lip stain. Um, my best friend Sydney has one of these in a berry color and it's really, really pretty. So I thought I would try this and I love corals for this season and this time of year. So I thought I would try this and hopefully this will work because lip stains are my ultimate like favorite things to wear on my lips during the summertime because it's just so easy and they last and they stay. Speaking of lip stains, I got a super stay 10 hour gloss from Maybelline. And this is in, oh, my Lanta, that is the smallest font I've ever seen. It's either refreshing red, ra ravishing red, or refrigerator red. So this is basically like a long wearing lip gloss and this is just in like a dark red raspberry color. I thought this would be really pretty for the summertime because it's not like a classic cherry red. It's more on like the darker, like, 
purplish red kind of side, which is just gonna make me look like I just gulped down an entire raspberry pie, y'all. And next, I got the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain, and this one is in Darling. I absolutely love this color. This was used on me on a acting job I did a little while ago, and I was just in love with it. I love how it looks. It's super pretty. It lasts on your lips forever. I have the one in Honey already. These are amazing, amazing products. They're like lip balms, and they're kind of glossy and have a sheen, but they stay on your lips and they stain like a stain and they last forever. It's just like a purplish pink color and they're so moisturizing. And next I picked up four Revlon lipsticks and these are from the Super Lustrous Lipsticks and these are like the new Shine formula that were out and it sucked me in and they had all the colors so I bought four. First one I bought is Lover's Coral and this is just a really pretty pinky peachy coral color. Then I got Rich Girl Red which is just a red color naturally. And the next one is Pink Cognito and this I've already tried. It's like a very pretty light pinkish nude color, one of my all-time favorites to wear. And the last one is in Pink Cloud, and this is just a pretty, perfect little bubblegum pink color. So that's all I got makeup-wise, and on to the nail polish. I bought three Sally Hansen nail polishes because they were on super sale. The first one that I got is the Sally Hansen Insta Dry, and this is in Lickety Split Lime. This is like the Shrek ugly green that I'm so oddly attracted to. When I saw this one, must buy! The next one is the Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Extreme Wear Nail Polish, and this is in White On. I just love white nails in the summertime. It's just such a nice contrast with skin, and I think it's really fun. And to go on top of that, just for a little, like, kick of sparkle and fun, I got the nail polish in, in the Spotlight. Holographic, like crazy, in the bottle. This is so sparkly and holographic, and I thought it'd be fun layered on top of just a plain white color to really just, like, bring it alive and make it pop. And because I am so completely done with people going on my Instagram and commenting on how I can't paint my nails and how I'm so bad at it, I know! I'm working on it. I decided to pick up the No More Mistakes Manicure Cleanup Pen from Sally Hansen. And this is on sale too. And it's like you take off the cap and you like write it around your fingernails and it's supposed to clean up all your mistakes. Which would be so helpful because it looks like a child paints my nails 90.999 100% of the time. We shall see. And the last thing I got is the Salon FX Real Nail Polish Strips, and this one is in To Die For, Tie Die For. I am not one for nail art. People like request nail art videos. I'm like, I can hardly paint my own nails. I can't even color in the lines. How am I supposed to like do shading and ombre? Like, I don't know how to do that. So I resort to the strips. And these ones I was just so incredibly attracted to, and because they're tie dye. And I come from a crazy hippie family. My parents are like hardcore hippies. I am a hippie baby, hippie child at heart. People don't believe it. If you know me in real life, you know I just felt very compelled to get these. And I showed my dad, and he was like, tie dye, I love it. Yeah. Okay, so that is everything that I got from Walgreens and CVS. If you have done a recent drugstore haul or any sort of reach and purchase and made a haul video about it, make sure to leave it as a video response to this video. Don't forget to check out the down bar to click the link to enter the giveaway on Sally Hansen's Facebook page and you could win a whole lot of buckaroos. Like dollar 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 bills, y'all. Stacks on stacks on stacks on stacks on stacks on stacks on stacks. Make sure to leave in the comments what you are currently loving from the drugstore, whether that be makeup-wise, toothpaste-wise, what's your favorite brand uh, toilet paper, my Charmin, was that too far? Make sure to thumbs up this video if you enjoy drugstore makeup just as much as I do. Okay guys, well I hope you enjoyed and I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!